Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and in this video I'll be showing you how to back up your TA partition and unlock the bootloader. Well, I am using the Xperia Z1 in this video, this is applicable to a host of Sony Xperia devices. To check if your Xperia device is on the list, click on link 1 from the download section in the description. That will take you to this page. So over here you can check out all compatible devices. So it works with most uh, common devices like the Xperia Z, the Tablet Z. Z Ultra and the Z1, all variants of the Z1 that is the C6902, 6903 works with this method. So uh, what is the TA partition? Well, the TA partition is where your DRM keys are stored. So uh, you will not be able to unroute your phone back to stock without backing up the TA, a TA partition before uh, unlocking the bootloader. So this is very important if you're planning on unlocking your bootloader make sure you back up your TA partition first. So guys, the prerequisite here is that your phone needs to be rooted. If you're using a Z1 and haven't rooted already, the link to my video tutorial on how to root your Sony Xperia Z1 can be found right below the like button in the description. So assuming you're rooted, let's proceed. So the next thing you need to do is check whether your device supports bootloader unlocking. So for that, open up the dialer, type in star hash star hash service and again hash star hash star so now go into service info configuration as long as it says bootloader unlock allowed yes you're good to go so the next thing you do is click on downloads over here that will take you to this page so click on source code.zip for the latest ver version and uh, save it onto your hard drive so this is what we've downloaded backup ta 9.10 that's the latest version right now and then click on link to to get your flash tool drivers so go ahead quickly install it so make sure you select flash mode and fast boot drivers here next so guys if you're on windows 8 or 8.1 you might see a red x here and the status has failed in that case just quickly slide to the right settings change pc settings update and recovery recovery restart now so now select troubleshoot, advanced options, startup settings, and hit restart. So once your PC boots back up, make sure you hit number 7, disable driver signature enforcement. So once Windows boots back up, quickly reinstall flash tool drivers and uh, your drivers will get installed this time around. So now uh, going into the folder, so on your phone, quickly go into settings about phone tap build number seven times if you haven't done that already enough developer options will be visible go into that make sure that usb debugging is checked all right and now connect your phone to the pc with the usb cable double click backup ta press any key to continue give it a few seconds all right so now uh, enter number one backup hit Y backup successful press any key to continue five to quit again any key we are done so quickly going into the backup folder here you will find where uh, one zip file these are the multiple times that have uh, that I've backed up the TA partition you can back it up more than once just to be safe and make sure you save these zip files again like I said these are man these are very important it is mandatory that you save these because you cannot uh, fully unroute your phone uh, for warranty purposes without the TA backup. So make sure you save these and uh, let's go on and un unlock the bootloader next. So guys, before you proceed with unlocking the bootloader, keep in mind that unlocking your bootloader does swipe all your apps and data. So make sure you back up your apps and data before you proceed. And in case you are unsure on how to back up your apps and data, I've got a video tutorial on how to do exactly that. I'll leave a link to that right below the like button in the description. So the next thing you do is on your phone, open up the dialer. This time type in star hash 06 hash. This will give you your IMEI number. Quickly note it down. And now click on link 3 from the download section in the description. That will take you to this page, unlocking the bootloader. This is unlockbootloader.sunimobile.com. So quickly scroll down and uh, click start unlocking the bootloader again scrolling down over here under step 9 you will find a link just click on it 
and uh, download it and save it. So guys, now turn off your phone. Hold up volume and plug the USB cable in. So this is the file that we downloaded from link 3. Right click, extract it. Open fast boot. Hold shift and right click and select open command window here. Now quickly go back to the web page. Now scroll down to step 15 and there will be a command there. Select it, copy. Go back to your command prompt, right click, paste, hit enter. So as long as you get a reply to this, apart from a waiting for device, you're good. So guys, click continue and hit yes, I'm sure. And uh, check these two, click I accept. So over here, enter your name, your uh, copy paste your IMEI number and enter your email ID and click on submit. It is common to get an error saying it must be exactly 14 characters long. In that case, just remove the last digit from your IMEI and hit submit. You'll now receive an email with your unlock bootloader key. Make sure you copy it and save it onto notepad so now quickly go back to the other web page that we were on uh, unlock bootloader sonymobile.sonymobile.com so now click go back to instructions so now scroll down and under step 16 you will have another command so copy it uh, copy everything apart from the key there all right and now quickly go back to the command prompt that we have open right click paste and now copy the key that you got copy it and paste that as well and hit enter you'd see a confirmation now if your bootloader is unlocked so you can unplug your phone from the pc and just turn it back on you'd see a little android icon don't worry about it it'll take a few minutes it'll boot boot back up so all right guys we're up so quickly opening up the dialer star hash star hash service hash star hash star going back into service info configuration and there you can see bootload unlocked now reads yes and if you're an Xperia Z1 user and are on Android 4.2.2 your camera would not work at this point don't panic you can flash Android 4.3 by following this tutorial of mine your bootloader will still remain unlocked so just to show you guys uh, let's see my camera is working and uh, I'm currently on Android 4.3 and to just show you that my bootloader is unlocked again star hash star hash service hash star hash star model info I'm sorry uh, configuration bootloader unlocked yes so I've also left a link to that video tutorial right below the like button in the description so we've successfully unlocked the bootloader on our device and uh, backed up the DA partition as well so I guess that's pretty much it for this video guys uh, hope you found it useful if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you're using a Sony Xperia Z1 and want to flash a custom recovery, you can do that by clicking the link that's annotated under the video or the same link can be found right below the like button in the description. So once again, thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you guys soon in the next one. Till then, this is Ashia from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye now.